In this tutorial, I'll show you one trick that I use that really helps me a lot when I'm building a scene. So if we compare this scene in here to some previous lessons in Cycles where we were animating a texture map here and we're image map and we were animating a procedural map on this object back here like this. If you notice in that scene, that scene is the lighting is completely flat. And even though this was glass in that same scene on top of this surface, it, it just looked dull. And the reason was is because off onto the one side of the scene I had one big giant rectangular light pointing at an angle in the scene. That was it. So it doesn't give lend any drama to the scene. So the reason I use Blender is because I intend to use it to tell stories in real time. And eventually when the computers get fast enough then I can kind of animate the scenes, tell the story as I go along. It's almost there. It's not quite there. When I want to do a tell a story, I want drama in a lot of my stories because I like science fiction, things of that nature. So in order to do that, I have to change the lighting. One of the things I do is you notice notice this section here. It's a little bit of a brighter light here, but here in this, this section, it's darker. Over here, there's light to make this area shine. So this change in lightness and darkness helps make the scene more dramatic versus a flat light. A flat light would just have everything illuminated and it would fall off slowly in the distance. And then over here on this object, in fact on all three of these objects, there are separate lights adjacent to the object. And that's the point of this lesson. So let's go into wireframe and I'll show you right here. This is, maybe we can go into flat shaded mode and we can still see it. Okay, that's better. So this object right here has a light right up in here. And if I take this object and I move it, where is that light? Oh no, yep, there it is. It's still sitting there, right? So let's say I move it out here into the scene and I go back into render mode. And now let's take a look at the object now. Well, see, it's starting to lose. I, I don't see these bright spots on this part of the sphere anymore because I've left the light behind, all right? So let me control Z that. All right, so I put it back in the scene. So the first trick I do, and it's not, and it's not, this particular part isn't so much a trick, but let's see, let's see if I can find that other one. First thing I'll do is I'll take that light and I'll parent it to this object, all right? And then there's another light in the scene. There it is. And then I'll also grab that and I'll parent it to the object. All right, now let's move it in the scene like this. And then when I go back into rendered mode, then it maintains the lighting as I move it around. I want to place it into the scene. So it helps me quickly place it into the scene because I don't have a bright light so I always want I will need some illumination on this at all times as I'm moving it around all right so that's a really really helpful technique well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson